In recent times with the COVID response, it's become even a bigger problem as children are at home because they're not in school, adults are at home because they're not working, and then now they're mashed together on the internet. More and more the internet is being used by offenders because they can hide behind the anonymity of the internet um, to reach out to children in chat forums or social media networks. A study by Purdue University in 2017 says that one out of 25 children will experience solicitation online. You've got 20 or 30 cases sitting on your desk. Every single one of them are good cases. Every single one of them could lead to the recovery of a child or children. Where do you start? How do you prioritize one case over another case? Currently, the biggest challenge we come across is really just the sheer volume, both of devices, but also the amount of data that's on those devices. Secondarily, it's now getting at the content on many of the devices. The security for individual devices has become a lot stronger. It's tougher to get into them, and uh, tools like Celebrite are out there right now helping us uh, do just that, and get onto the devices to get at that data, and then to put it into a format that's useful for us to analyze. Some of the biggest challenges that we have in uh, addressing these internet crimes against children are the multiple steps of investigations that we have to take. The multiple search warrants to electronic service providers, to internet service providers, and then going through all of that data that comes back. The technologies that Celebrate offers is a way for us to go through that process uh, in a more efficient manner attempts to identify the illegal activity and potentially identify these kids and who's preying on them and what, what's occurred to them.